Hey guys, Justin Hale here. We're up at Snowshoe Mountain Resort with this 2011 YZ252 stroke uh, for our most recent bike build. We wanted to turn this guy into a full GNCC race bike, so we figured what a better place to come than the spot of America's toughest off-road race, the Snowshoe GNCC. Uh, so like I said, the goal was to turn this into a full GNCC race bike, so we kind of redid a lot of things. GYTR hooked us up with a bunch of cool parts, uh, everything from piston to off-road flywheel uh, to help us get a little bit more traction. You got some Fastway Air ankle savers on here to add a little bit more support over the rocks and ruts that you get on off-road. We got a full oversized uh, off-road tank with from IMS. They gave us the full dry brake system so we could come into the pits, get out quickly during race period. Uh, we gave a smaller rear tire, smaller rear rim, 18 inches. Uh, gives us a little bit more traction through the through the kind of rough, slow stuff. Uh, Excel hooked us up with some awesome A60 rims. Those are a little bit tougher, a little bit more durable than what you're probably usually used to. Uh, Recluse gave us a really good Radius CX clutch, uh, which basically makes it so you don't have to use the clutch. You can basically shift, not touch it. Helps with the arm pump throughout these long, long races. Um, another thing that helps out with the arm pump is we got some Mako 360 bar mounts. Uh, it kind of has a rubber polymer in there so you don't get that vibration in the bars. Uh, we got some X-Trig triple clamps. Uh, factory connection gave us a complete revalve and respring on our suspension and they come to every GNCC to give support to all the riders around so uh, we thought that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, got some P3 carbon, gave us a skid plate, uh, front disc guard, FMF hooked us up with a full system, the gnarly pipe on the front gives us a little bit more bottom end torque, uh, the, the power core 2 silencer on the end, Renthal hooked us up with you know grips, bars, uh, some, some chain wheels, the chain, uh, we just have a really a bunch of cool stuff on here that that you know you just don't find on a normal bike uh, but there's a lot of stuff that went into this bike that that isn't just a bolt-on part i have uh, scott adkins here with pro sxmx tech who's going to go over a little bit more about what he did to this bike scott this bike is just awesome man tell us a little bit more about what went into it yeah like you said there's a lot of things on this bike that you can't buy there's a lot of man hours that goes into a project like this uh, we started out with a black wrinkled finish on the powder coat on the frame the swing arm and subframe um, we also turned the hubs down on a lathe uh, to take out some of the casting lines and then we finished those off with a real nice translucent blue to match just YZ250. Um, but then we took it a step further. Uh, we, we did a lot of Cerakote. It's a new trend that's kind of starting out. Um, what it is is a, it's a paint that's based around a ceramic coating. Um, so we went ahead and finished the brake calipers, the master cylinders, and some of the parts on the engine that you see, uh, the primary cover and the power port cover, uh, and that's all in Cerakote. Um, also, uh, I had one of my students help with, the, with this project. Uh, his name is Chris Vance. I'd like to give thanks to him. He helped with the assembly and a lot of the painting and, and the powder coat. Um, also, inside the transmission or inside the engine where you don't see, I have a company. It's Pro Gears, ProGears.com. And what it is is a fine finishing for transmission parts and engine components. Um, and so we went ahead and finished the transmission in this. And what that does, it gives a transmission a nice polish. So it makes the gear stronger, makes it last longer, and it gives you more power. So it, overall, it's a win-win situation. So we did that inside this engine, so it frees up the bike real nice. So Pro Gears did the transmission. And uh, yeah, like you said, there's a lot that goes into a project like this, not just components that you buy and bolt on, but a lot of work that goes in. Yeah, and we're super happy with the way it turned out. Um, we want, there's just so many parts to list, uh, Maxxis tires, everything like that. So make sure you check below the video. We're going to have a full list of all the parts we used for this build. Um, we also have Ricky Russell, the top rated factory Yamaha racer for the GNCC series. He's agreed to go ahead and give us a test for this bike. Uh, so we're going to hand it over to him and tell us what he thinks.
So, Ricky, you got to test out the YZ250. Uh, take her through the woods up here at Snowshoe. How'd it feel? It was good. Uh, after racing yesterday, I'm used to 450, so jumping on a 250, it's kind of light and nimble. And, uh, yeah, this thing, you guys really have it dialed in for this type of type of terrain. It was uh, really smooth and uh, hooked up really well. Um, the rocks and stuff out there, I, I think uh, I went up a few of the hills that I was going up yesterday, and I think I struggled a little bit less even. But I know our tires were getting pretty shot yesterday towards the end of the race. But, yeah, the this bike was really, everything was shifting really good. I think that recluse was really making it hook up. Uh, flywheel weight was making it really smooth and like I said this this is the perfect bike for this type of snowshoe mountain uh, it uh, tracks real well and the suspension was feeling really good I think factory connection got it really dialed in and yeah it was working really good in all those rocks so couldn't be much happier it's been a while since I've ridden a 252 stroke but uh, yeah I, I could jump on this thing and race it right away I think Looks like we might have to get you a two-stroke for next season, huh? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's a like I said, it's a little lighter than my big 450. But if it if for a race like this, it might it might actually might help me uh, in the end, just that not wear you out as much being that lighter weight and uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, Ricky, thank you very much for coming out here and doing this with us. Uh, I want to thank everybody that sent us parts for this bike. It turned out really awesome. We really appreciate all the hard work. We want to thank Scott and, and Chris over at Pro SXMX Tech for all their hard work. Uh, and thank you guys for paying attention to our garage build. Check out the next one. Oh, you're going to be kicking rocks. I'll try not to roost you too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>